Now I'm quite scared because someone's recording what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, let me just get my uh, presentation set up and then we'll continue. And I have got some notes coming for you. Louisa has just gone to, um, to make copies of them and then you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. Could be there if he's. Is. something else as well. Um, Louisa mentioned at the beginning uh, these focus books. Do any of you use them in your schools? Only one? Two? Okay, no wonder I'm not a millionaire. Um, <laughs> this person here, Paul, is me. Okay, and just so you understand what happened, you get a group of people contributing to the writing of a textbook. You divide it out amongst a bunch of authors, and then the authors get allocated sections, and they write those sections. I didn't write the work energy and power section, okay? But I've been back into the book, I've seen it, and I've got an understanding about it. Just the two of you who have got that book, I really do appreciate it. Every book that you, sit, that you buy from Matthew Miller Longman, they pay me 60 cents for it. In fact, they pay me a rand. But out of the goodness of my heart, I then give 40 cents of that back to the government, which if you're quick at maths will tell you I get left with 60 cents. But because I like to use the money, the government also gets 40 cents of the money that I use because we pay fat, so I end up with uh, 40, 46 cents. I really appreciate those 46 cents that you gave me. And when you do the maths like that, it doesn't sound that exciting. However, I did manage to put together enough money to send my daughter to university. So to those of you who are using the book, my daughter who is now qualified thanks you. She's working in Craighead Hospital. She is very grateful and I'm pleased to know that she's actually putting something back into the community because she's working with patients in the hospital there. So thanks for you who bought it. I've now stopped writing that so I'm not urging you to go out and buy the book. Um, unfortunately we have a problem with it because the government changes the syllabus every four years. Every time they make a new Minister of Education, he comes along and says what's wrong with the old education system. And we've had to rewrite the book four times. On the fifth time, I said, no, I'm not interested. Because it takes too long. Okay, so thank you for the people who are using it. That's my background, and that's where we're actually coming from. Now, the next thing that I need to say to you on this first page, I've already said to you, what should you do? The stuff that the people can get right. You have to put a lot of effort into that. The second point I've got up there is, is this final lesson missing when you talk about work, energy and power? And I suspect it is. Now the thing about work, energy and power is, we teach work, then we teach energy, and then we teach power. And we never put it all together. If we put it all together, well, perhaps I'm being unfair to you, but when I was at school, which I will admit is something like 50 years ago, 45 to be precise, when I was at school, the teacher never put it together for me. When I started teaching, I realized that I wasn't putting it together for my learners. The books that we wrote don't put it together for the learners. So I'm challenging you to say, you probably don't put it together either. 
And what I want to suggest to you is when you teach work, energy, and power, you should teach a final lesson. And that final lesson is pretty much what I want to present to you today. I'm not teaching it because not, this is not the kind of medium to teach it. This is a medium to present it. But if you do this right at the end of work, energy, and power, you will put the whole lot back together and then people will understand where they need to go from it. There's a lot of prior learning. Prior knowledge. In grade 10, they first of all learnt about force. 